In this episode, I'm gonna show you how to animate a candle flame inside Blender. Let's check it out. Hello YouTube, if you're meeting for the first time, my name is Jose Vega and I use this channel to share my process that I use as a professional artist and I share tutorials, time lapses and any of the other tips and tricks that I find along the way to help you as an artist. And in this episode, we're going to be talking about how to animate a candle flame inside Blender. So let's get to it. So let's get into Blender very quickly here. And the scene that you just saw uh, was a very simple scene that I did. Uh, using this 3D kit bash uh, that I made. And you can get this at uh, my Gumroad or our station. And you will get all this kit that you can use for your own projects. And as you can see, it includes uh, a lot of uh, candle holders and different candles in different states that you can also mix and match and create your own as well. So what I want to show you here is that if you go here to the actual flames, let's go to the solid mode here. You can see that these are planes. So we're gonna deal with these um, uh, for the animation. So let's actually jump into a new Blender file. And what I'm gonna do is I already have set up, and this will be included in your textures, I already set up a candle flame PNG. And the reason for a PNG is because it, it has alpha information, so it will have transparency when we import it. And so what I want to do is shift A and let's go to image, images explains, and let's actually find that texture. We go here and there it is. We'll import that. And as you can see, it's just a plane. But if you go to textures here, you're going to see that you actually can see the actual uh, plane. So I'm going to rotate that in the X axis 90 degrees. So it's facing the camera here. We're gonna do this very quick, so uh, this is very simple. So what I wanna do first is go to my modifiers tab and apply wave. And if I bring my timeline up, I'm gonna do that by dragging here and bring my timeline. And if I play, you're gonna see that I'm getting some, some movement already. So uh, this is a good start. So let's actually, what's happening is the polygon doesn't have a lot of vertices and so uh, the movement is not very wavy so let's fix that real quick i'm gonna add another modifier subdivision we're gonna bring that subdivision first so it gets applied first and so you can see it's, it's starting to get some some waviness in here and i'm gonna bring my subdivisions up just to get something a little bit smoother right so now it's getting a little bit more uh, smooth uh, animation in here. Now, right now the animation is too much. So uh, let's go to the wave modifier and let's bring the speed a little bit down. And we're gonna play with these parameters here um, just so we can get something closer to what we really want in terms of movement. So this is something that is getting a little bit closer. Now, the depends on your scene, if you have a little bit of wind or no wind, um, it's, it's gonna depend how much that candle is gonna is gonna uh, move. So um, I think this is pretty good so far. All right. So now that we have that, uh, the other problem that we gotta tackle is that the whole flame is moving side to side, and so um, you know, a candle flame, you know, only moves at the top. So we're gonna try to fix that. And what we're gonna do is, let's go to solid mode here. And let's go to weight paint. And we're gonna actually paint the vertices that we have. Now, since we have a modifier for subdivision, we only have these four vertices here, which is okay. But um, we're, gonna, we're gonna actually just paint in here, just the top, like so. Okay, so now let's go back to object mode and texture. Let's play that. 
Now we still get the same results because we are applying now that weight paint into the modifier. So if you go to the modifier, we go here to the uh, vertices group and we apply that. And now you're gonna see that only is being applied the movement at the top here. So playing with the parameters a little bit more, you can see it's getting a little bit more close to what we want. Now the issue that we have is that now if you rotate, you know, it's a plane, so you know we don't have any information this angle and, and these. So uh, what we wanna do is actually let's go to solid mode. We're gonna duplicate this, shift D. And if you move your mouse, you're gonna see this, but we don't wanna move it from the place that it's at. So I'm gonna right click and it's gonna place it right where we got it from. And I'm gonna rotate it in the Z axis now. So 90 degrees. And let's see the texture there. So now if we rotate, we get a little bit more information as we rotate, if you're gonna do an animation here. But now if you play it, then we get two different flames, which is another issue. And so, a way to fix that now you can get you can do these um duplication you know you can do it one more time for example you could do this like so um but let's just keep it simple just two planes and go here so a way to fix this is if we select them both and we just merge them Control j now it's one object, and then the modifiers only apply to one object. So now we're getting something a little bit, a little bit um, close to what we want. So now from here, it's just a matter of uh, putting it in the scene, and um, we can, you know, keep playing with the parameters depending on your scene. But uh, this is a very easy way to actually a, uh, animate a candle inside Blender. All right, so that was it for the tutorial. Thank you very much for watching. And if you have any questions or comments about it, let me know in the comment section below so I can actually address them. And if you're interested in the pretty kid, uh, you can get that on my art station on Gumroad and you can use it for your own projects and create your own candles. Um, but thank you very much for watching and I'll see you guys on the next one.